Hello everyone, how's it going? So today what I got for you is just a bunch of airdrop alpha slash airdrop news. So let's just get right into it. So first thing we got here is how to actually create a NFT collection on Zora. And this is actually going to be pretty important in my opinion because Zora did say countless times again and again that they're mainly a big creator like optimized l2 and we saw that recently with the optimism for airdrop where they rewarded roughly like twenty thousand wallets that transferred and created nfts on zora and moved them over to other places so if you would like to create a collection it's super easy but all you got to do is you just have to be on the zora network obviously and you press create collection name it whatever put a description in whatever um, actually, let's make one right now. Let's uh, let's do a cute cat. Do a cute cat. There we go. Description, cat. Cool. And then we'll just select a file. All right. So after you get your picture and everything, obviously you want to press save. Oh, and if you don't have funds already on Zora, you could easily use Orbiter to just transfer it over. And you also qualify it. For orbit or airdrop when you do this so that's nice but obviously we'll press wait what oh okay 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 so the image goes here my apologies so there we go and then the, I'll just do the same picture as the collection um, let's see view advanced options so you could put like price right so we'll just put point zero point zero 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 one um, mint duration we'll do like a month that's fine Mint first editions earn extra rewards. That's kind of cool. Um, description. Cat. So yeah, obviously you fill all this now, right? Fill all this. Unlimited. We'll just do unlimited. Um, yeah, so we'll put the name as Mikado because that's my cat's name. But on it, I actually... So you have to make the collection first, obviously. Then you put your cat in there, right? Or <laughs> not cat, but like your NFT, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously you press create. So this will set you as a creator on Zora. So obviously doing this will, as you can see there, it set up a transaction that sets up a mint for my NFT. Now it's just gonna set up the mint page here. All right, and then after that, this will come up like your collection and everything. So if you guys want to mint this, then you can. It's literally 0.00001E, so it's virtually nothing. I'll just leave the thing in the description. But it also does give you another transaction on Zora. But here's another thing, very similar. So you can just mint um, something on zora or you could do it on blast so you're you could qualify for zora and blast doing this i'm personally going to do it on both but all you got to do press mint this is virtually a free mint too so it's like all you have to worry about is gas here and yeah transaction there you go oh yeah by the way gy is super super high right now it's at should show up here 188 in the bear market, when I was transacting, this thing was at like fifteen twenty on the daily. And that that just goes to show we're definitely in a in a bull market now. But there we go, like just like that mint. Another thing right here on zk sync, we're minting more NFTs. Okay, but this is actually the first time that you could mint NFTs with the paymaster feature. And I did make a paymaster video before. I'll leave that in the description below. But I believe Paymaster is going to be really big for ZK Sync. And I still don't think they took their snapshot. Mainly because I think they're going to do it on their one year anniversary of ZK Sync era mainnet. Which I believe is um, March 24th. But this is really easy. So you could use hold USDC or USDT. Hold gives you a 50% discount. So you already know I'm going to do that. All you got to do here. Literally press mint. Make sure uh, hold is up here. So you're using hold as your gas token. You sign that and then boom, there you go. Next thing we got is there actually is a meme coin on like the Cosmos ecosystem. And how you're eligible for this is your stake is if you're staking on any of these any of these chains here. So this is just a this is just a checker to see if you are 
a or eligible for it paste your address in here check status you don't have to sign anything no transaction so it's safe and you see however much allocation you have i'll give more info when this does eventually come out am i bullish on this mm, kind of but there really is no meme community on cosmos yet not yet but i believe it'll eventually happen because the inscription and nft marketplace is actually starting to to pick up some traction on cosmos via the asteroid protocol like website that they and marketplace that they got going on so i i actually am kind of bullish on this and since it's free if you're already staking and whatnot then might as well you know what i'm saying next thing is you could deploy a smart contract on zk sync era this is also really cheap all you got to do is either basic mode or erc20 i don't think you could do erc20 yet because this is still in like beta mode i guess but very simple you just press deploy sign a transaction and there you go you just successfully minted your own smart contract on zk sync and that's it next thing or last thing actually um orderly network zeely quest slash task kind of thing so wormhole did this i um i barely did it, as you can see one out of ten here but orderly does have it and it's actually really really simple um all you got to do is like say you have your daily task here claim that's five free xp boom and the main way to get xp here is by doing that log x campaign where you get the chief knight um queen and king nfts or whatever i think there's like three or four and as you can see it's uh here but their review process is uh it's pretty bad in my opinion so you have to take a screenshot of of the of the thing of like your nft and it has to show like your con like the contract and your your contract or like your wallet address at the same time so you could do this for sure i personally did it as you could see because once they do review it eventually it's been like a week and they still haven't so it's like it, it takes a while but I, I bet they eventually will do it and they do got some discord tasks i'm gonna fade this because i'm not a discord wannabe like i'm not gonna be doing that and they have another little task down here i mean i'm gonna do it because like it, it's free and gas is so high right now that i don't really want to be transacting that much because i'm just gonna burn like 5x the fees you know what i'm saying like gy is 150 right now like i'm a hard pass on that last thing Linear week three just dropped i just remember this on the top of my head uh so if you go over to the layer three site over here if week three has just released yep yeah, right here social world so do these tasks there's oh so there's like dmail in here I, I remember dmail send email from okay cool so yeah just do these tasks like one of them is locked for two days so this is just a bunch of free lxp but yeah and um that's pretty much it for today but i kind of want to just go on like a tangent on if like airdrops are still viable because i do get a lot of comments asking are airdrops even worth it like is this like even still good blah 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 my, my this is all not financial advice obviously but my personal opinion is yes they are still viable if you have the right information if you are organized and you're able to stay dedicated to this stuff because if you're not mo most people are lazy like just naturally right and especially with airdrop farming it's really it's really damn tedious like i'll just be honest it's really tedious so if you could stay consistent have the right information and the way to get right information i'll make a whole video on this but you just want to be following good people on twitter have good people around you saying like discords watch the right content obviously you got to be safe when you're doing this make sure you're not connecting to some random some random bullshit and getting scammed that's why you should always have wallet guard and i do also recommend using the rabbi wallet because it does have a lot of safety like procedures like automatically unlike metamask which that's why i've kind of haven't been using metamask as much at least on my main wallet i've been using rabbi but overall i do believe that airdrops still are going to be worth it to farm at least for 
another maybe like three months because a lot of mints are coming up or not a lot of mints but a lot of airdrops are coming up very very soon here and it's we're kind of reaching like a tipping point because if gas is this high then airdrops at least on the ethereum network and other l2s aren't going to be worth it as much because you're just going to be spending more money on fees so the golden era i believe for farming could have passed right but there's still a lot of opportunities elsewhere, like on Solana, like with Parcel, with Drift. And I have videos on all that in my or in my catalog of videos and especially uh, in the airdrop playlist that in the airdrop tutorial playlist that I have. So these other networks or these other L1s like Aptos, for example, I'm really bullish on Aptos because it's completely separated from Ethereum and these horrid gas fees like we know there's a lot of there's a lot of native bridging going on with eth where protocols like it when you go from eth to their their net respective network their l2 or whatnot and the the problem is now those bridging fees are like sky high like i'll, I'll pull up ether scan right now so if you want to bridge it's going to cost you 50 dollars now like that's not sustainable if you ask me like even if you just want to have a simple uh sending like you're just sending money or sending eth to another wallet it's going to cost you nine dollars that's not sustainable if you ask me if you go on to solana you go on to aptos you go on cosmos injective whatever those fees are only a couple cents now will eth ever like get taken up by another l1 I don't know i don't maybe but technology will be the only thing to like say if that'll happen or not so i'm still obviously going to be transacting on l2s just not as much because i used to hardly only be on the ethereum network especially during the bear market but now it's like i i, I don't i'm not really spending as much time on ethereum network relative to like solana and aptos like my main farming now is usually on aptos solana or like the injective tia cosmos ecosystem mainly because i believe it's not talked up as much and in crypto i've i've been doing crypto for damn near three years now or i've been in crypto for three years so i feel like i could at least speak on this but when everyone says one thing then most likely the complete opposite is going to happen. Like everyone was saying last bull cycle, BTC is going to 100K. Yeah, it didn't. It only went to like 70K and then it shot down, right? So it's like you just got to see your risk to reward for different things here. And that that's that's pretty much it. But other than that tangent, thank you guys all for watching. I know I didn't upload for like four days. I had midterms for exams, but no excuse there. That's why I wanted to get this video out. But that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want like certain type of style videos or like certain airdrop guides or whatnot. I'm going to be doing one on scroll very soon here once GY goes lower because I don't want to spend like damn near like four or five dollars on every transaction. So that's not ideal for today. That's all I got for you. So thank you guys all for watching and have a good one. Peace.